William Hill Vegas sponsors Joshua vs. White on Sky Sports Box Office. Radio Raheem here with Tony Bellew. Listen, the end of that fight, man, it looked like it could have been a film on its own. You may be a movie star in the ring and out of the ring. How did you muster the not just uh, the strength, but the courage in the end of that fight, 11th, 12th round, to come out the way you did? I came back to the coach, and the coach said to me, it's all on this round, so do you know what? I'm sometimes got too much balls and bottle for me own good, and I just thought, if it's all on this round, I, you know what, I had everything on this fight. I had absolutely everything on it and I couldn't afford to lose. If I lost this, my career was over. I had nowhere to go. Fucking, it's, it's hard, man, it's hard, you know what I'm saying? I've got three kids that I'm fighting for and everything was on that fight. Trust me, everything. It looked like it could have been an easier fight for you than the sense that you're a, a better boxer maybe than you showed tonight. Did you just get caught up in a war? No, I think, you know, I got, he was good at everything. So anytime I made a, a small mistake, I paid for it. And, and I just, I switched off when it was easy. I really did switch off. And uh, that was my own fault. So I don't know. I done the job, I got the job in. I think, I don't know what the scorecards were. I think they were a little bit wider than it should have been. But uh, I know I beat him, I knew I'd won. Especially with that last round, I just topped it off. And I came through again. And you know what, I'm just happy I go home safe to me three kids. You know, that's a classy move. Most fighters wouldn't uh, say that the scorecards were wide when it's in their favor, so, uh, yeah. you know. Kudos to you for that. He was coming over that jab with the right hand almost every time. Was that shot, was that shot hurting? No, he didn't really ever hit me in the fight. Don't get me wrong, he did rock me skull a couple of times. And the, uh, the, the siren went off in the brain when he landed a few times around the side of the ear. But uh, he's not a devastating puncher. Like I say, he's, he's, a, he's probably one of the most well-rounded fighters in the division. He's a top five in the world fighter. And... Uh, he, he, he picks up on your mistakes real good. Like I say, he's not a big puncher, but he scores and like the bells go off in your head a little bit. So you have to compose yourself, start again. And listen, I've got I've got one of the best coaches, not just in England, in the world. He tells me straight, he's my friend. He, know, he tells me how it is and he's straight with me in the corner. And you know, tonight, tonight he probably won me that fight by how direct he was and how serious he was in the corner. Because I need that at times. I'm my own worst enemy. I switch off. I think my left hand was broken like the third round off a left hook. So, and so that's quite swollen and fucked up, but mm. it is what it is. This is professional boxing. This ain't this ain't this ain't tick. <laughs> this ain't hide and seek. This is seek and destroy. And, and, and I expected the war tonight. This is the reason why I wore the army fatigues to the ring. This is the reason why I turned up in an in an, in an army fatigues tracksuit. I knew what was coming tonight and, and I've got it done. And lastly at Radio Raheem. <laughs> <laughs> and lastly, you had the crowd on their feet, everybody standing and cheering. When that 12th bell rang, did you feel like if you had one more minute, you may have been able to put him away? Spencer, brother, you was right. Watch me, left hand's broken, fucked up, but you was right. <laughs> this is Spencer feeling. I know. One of the most knowledgeable men in British boxing. He came in and said a few words before the fight, and he was spot on and right. It's, it's all in my hands. And... Uh, you know what, the start of that last round, he, he told me how it is. He's a, a straight coach and he's a, he doesn't get enough credit, me coach Dave Caldock. He's straight as they come, he knows the game. And he told me, listen, go out and do, give me a big round, knock him out this round. And I thought, I just needed 20 more seconds and I'd have done him. But at the end of the day, the W is all that matters. Spencer, what did, you, what did you say to this man before the fight that got him so inspired? I, I, I can't give up. Listen, man, I, I say to everyone, everything's about being positivity. Dave Caldock was like, like my little brother, man. I can't, and there's only a few months difference between us. But this guy's worked so hard. You got to remember, like you got to visualize to materialize. You know what I mean, and when you when you walk with when you walk with purpose, you collide with destiny. And I just came in to remind him. Listen, you are everything. Look, he's in a Creed movie. He's everywhere, even when he's standing still. And it's just an honor because he's he's a beautiful human being. So you, you know mean? What? I don't even I don't even want to be known or stuff like that. I just want to go about my business, earn a good living. And provide for me three kids. I don't want to be known. I, I hate being famous. Because you know what all this fame, fame brings? Mm. If anybody who knows what being, if, if you walk out on the street and everybody knows you, you know the only thing that brings mm. is, is pressure. Well, uh, I have to act a certain way and be a certain way when I just want to be me. Well, those kids have a reason to be awfully proud of you tonight. You've shown yourself to be a warrior. Fame is coming your way whether you like it or not when you perform like that. Radio Raheem with Tony Bellew. Thank you for a great show. Radio Raheem. Wow. <laughs> what a name. What a name. <laughs> <laughs> William Hill Vegas sponsors Joshua versus White on Sky Sports Box Office. <laughs>